Hello everybody, Lori here from Unique in the Creek. Hello, hello, say hello when you come in. We are making a Christmas rose. I don't know if there's such a thing. I think there is, maybe. But it's going to be so super pretty, I promise you. So this is a kit. And there were still some available when I uh, checked before I went live. This is kit number, I don't even know what number. The Christmas Rose. Kit 71. Hello, hello everybody. We are on TikTok, we are on Instagram, we are on YouTube, and we are on Facebook. Hi TikTok. Thank you for watching. Okay, so like I said, this is a kit, but you can you can make a rose with anything. Um, however, this is beautiful kit. You get two rolls of this gorgeous um, snowball mesh, white snowball mesh. That makes it more wintry, right? And then you get three of these picks. Now these are magnolia leaves, I know that, but I really, really, they're very similar to the rose wreaths, or the rose um, leaves. So um, that's why I went with the magnolia. They are velvet, and it's two different greens on there. So you have nine pieces that we're gonna use on the outer row for the, instead of using mesh, we're gonna, we're gonna elegant, we're gonna elegant -fy. Is that a word, elegant -fy? <laughs> We're gonna make this rose elegant. Um, we are using, so you got three of those. You get clips, you get your cutters, you get your zip ties, and you get this big old chubby cardinal, which is going to sit on our rose when we're done. All right, it is going to be gorgeous with the velvet leaves. Very, very much so. I'm super excited about this. So let's get started. I'm going to make a very full rose, okay? Now, like, you do get two rolls of the white snowdrift, okay? I'm going to double up my petals. I just want to make it really nice and full. You, however, if you, you know, if, if you see mine when I'm done and you think, oh, she, that's too much mesh, uh, you can use just one piece per zip tie, okay? I'm going to use two, um, uh, two pieces on row two and two pieces on row five. But we'll get to more of that um, as we get into it. Okay, so you're going to cut your mesh at 10 inches. Now, this mesh is 10 and a half inches, but to save on mesh... Um, the petal, it doesn't need to be a perfect square. Okay, so we can save on mesh by cutting it at 10 inches instead of 10 and a half. Hello, oh, well, thank you. I'm still waiting. We're waiting to hear her, her blood cultures are supposed to come back tonight. So, so what you're going to do, you're either going to cut, you can take two rolls, open both rolls, Put them on top of each other, just like that. Roll it out. Okay, I put something heavy on the end. All right, now if you're using your rotary cutter and cutting mat, you're gonna make sure your bottom is lined up with one of those lines, the side is lined up, and then you're gonna cut it with your rotary cutter at 10 inches. I don't know where mine went. Um, however, if you don't have a rotary cutter and you're using the um, measuring tape that comes in the kit, you just need your scissors. What you're going to do is, again, put the end right at the end of your, your um, measuring tape. Make sure it's... The rolls are, are, are straight, so the bottom here is running right along the measuring tape. And you're going to take your scissors and just cut it 
at 10 inches. Now, if you do two rolls at the same time, obviously you can cut a lot more. Okay, so that's all you need for the mesh. We'll have to do how many pieces afterwards. Um, like I said, I am doubling it up. Now the rose petal is the easiest petal out of all the flowers to, um, to make. The rose is very easy to make too, but you have to pay close attention to which way um, my tails of the petal are going. Okay, and we'll go through that. So to make the petal, the rose petal, you're gonna take, I got two pieces here. I'm gonna keep it in two pieces. Okay, so you're gonna open up your mesh, your piece of mesh. Alrighty, you good there, TikTok? All right, you're gonna turn it into a diamond shape. You're going to take the top corner, bring it down to the bottom corner. Okay, they're not going to totally line up because we didn't do a perfect square, remember? But that's okay. All right, so you got like a triangle umbrella shape. And at about three inches, you're going to pinch it up. And that is the whole petal, except for the center of the, whole, of the wreath. Okay, very, very easy. Now I put little, little rubber bands around it so I can pre-make my petals. We'll do it again. I'll do it with one piece. Again, curl up. So that means when I spring it up, it curls up. Turn it into a diamond shape. Put the top corner down to the bottom corner. All right. Make a triangle, and you're gonna have about a three inch tail. Now you can just clip them if you want, if you have lots of clips, or you can actually stick them in as we're going. So we'll do that. So this is the large board, okay? Uh, what I've done is I've preloaded row two Okay, row two, and it says number two on here. So there is the number two. I've preloaded either side of this um, set of holes where it says row, row two, or where it says two, okay? So we're going to not do this one right now, but do this one, skip, this one, skip, this one, skip, and you're gonna go all the way around. So you have eight zip ties on row two. Okay, now we're gonna start, maybe I'll put the, the leaves in. So for the leaves, you're gonna break up your, you're gonna take your magnolia leaves out of the package and you'll get three pieces, okay? So there's three, one, two, three. One of, the, one of the stems only has two on it, which is, that's fine. That's okay. And then we're just going to kind of rip them apart. So we're separating them into single pieces. Hello, hello. Okay, and I'm gonna take my, your wire, take your wire nippers, your pink handle, and we're gonna trim this down a bit. It's kind of long, the, I need to trade in my new or another pair. I use the same wire nippers for like months. They're only supposed to be single use. <laughs> All right, so we're just trimming down the wire on these velvet leaves. Oh, they're so pretty. Now you can put as few or as many as you want on your board. Like I said, you have three, um, nine sets of the leaves. And where I'm gonna start with, I'm going to, we're gonna put it on row one. So there's the number one. 
I'm going to start with one. I'm going to put one right here. So I'm just going to take my zip tie, put it in the hole, okay? And I'm going to go from the hole to the outside of the board, just like that. All right, and then we're going to place one of the picks into that zip tie, just like that. And I'm gonna hit, hit this with some glue. Hi, everybody. Just so if somebody gra <clears throat> grabs the leaves, they won't come slip out of the zip tie. All right, I'm gonna skip one. I'll put another one here. Maybe the two one, you know, the one that has num just two of them. So I'm just putting it, slipping it in the zip tie and doing it up. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of glue. Hello, hello, everybody on this Friday, Friday night. How are you guys all doing? TikTok, you doing good? So you can do this. This is going to get big, right? So you can do this after you, you make your rows, okay? So I'm just going to, I just wanted you guys to see how you do it without the wreath being completely full so you can see. So I'm, I'm going to wait till the end and put the rest on, but that's how we're going to be putting the leaves on, okay? Now, like I said, we preloaded row two, eight zip ties, and we went on either side of the number two. What you're gonna do now is take, <clears throat> take that umbrella-shaped um, piece of mesh. This is two pieces. You're going to bring it, the tail, towards the center of the board. Okay, so the tail is going inwards and do it up. The next, so we're not putting anything there. The next one inwards. So all eight of these are doubled up because I want a nice fluffy wreath. A nice fluffy rose. So you're putting the tails inwards. And like I said at the beginning, you can just use one piece instead of two, but I wanted it full. Well, I'm glad you made it on time, Donna. Hi, everybody. Okay, so we're gonna do eight of these going around. So it just looks like an umbrella. Okay, one more. So there's my eighth one. I'm going to use, you're going to take your wire nippers and we are going to snip off these zip tie tails, the eight of them. Now with the white mesh, the, sometimes they're hard to see, so you might want to snip them off as you're going. And there we go. There's the eight. All right, so now we're going to go back over top of the zip tie where we put this these petals in okay so you're going to go down and up and uh, do the zip tie up until you hear the zipping sound so we're going to put another eight zip ties around the wreath but just over top of the zip tie that's currently on the board on row two
I did a rose blindfolded. Actually did it blindfolded in the Can-Am VIP group. That's how many of these I've done. <laughs> I can do them with my eyes closed and I literally put my money where my mouth is. <laughs> so they're not hard. It's just a process and you need to trust the process. I say that all the time, but it's very true. So you can see my leaves are kind of sticking out here. So if you put your leaves on first, it's probably going to hit everything on your craft table. So you might want to do it at the end like I am. Okay, so we have all of these preloaded over top. All right, just start anywhere on the board. What you're going to do is take, we'll just start right here. You're going to take the neighboring corner, the corner here of the mesh, and you're going to put it, just the tip of it, into that zip tie. So there's the right neighbor, and now I'm going to put the left neighboring tip of the this pedal, and then once those two are in, pull it tight. Okay, and we're gonna go around. It doesn't matter if you go clockwise or counterclockwise, but what you wanna do is make sure that the two corners are coming. You see now how I pulled this one over top. You wanna make sure they're all going over top. Okay. Yes, I did do it blindfolded, it was fun. Maybe I'll do one day on, a, on the page. Okay, you can see I'm not tugging or anything on the mesh. I'm just putting the little piece of the corner into the zip tie. This is gonna give us our scalloped look. And we're just gonna keep going around. And using the two pieces of mesh actually makes it like a lot poofier. So it, it does make a better rose. So up over top. And the two corners just go in and crisscross just a bit. And this is the trick for the scalloped edge on the rose. That's where everybody has a problem, has trouble with. I'm pretty sure I really sim uh, simplified it. Okay, you don't want to pull it right in like you don't want to pull this right in so that it's stretched you want it nice and poofy like and all of the same so you want to make sure that you're edging which it should be technically if you're just putting the same amount of of the edge into the zip tie you will get um the same um the the scalloped edge will be the same all the way around. We're almost done. I think this is the last one. So that is, nope, one more. This is how you do an easy, easy way. We're using more zip ties, but really the zip ties cost pennies. Not even. So use the zip ties up. It's so much easier. And you do get a hundred of them in the kit, so. Okay, now this is the last one. So no more zip ties should be open. All right. Can you guys see how that's starting out with that nice scalloped edge? 
and then you're going to go around and we are going to clip the zip tie tails off that one off that row it's hard to see the white on white all right so when you flip it over you can see these blank um, zip ties are holes that we didn't put any zip ties in we are that's we are going to put zip ties in them right now okay so you're just going to go down and up there's eight of them So we're going to preload those eight. Hello, hello, everybody. I would love if you guys wouldn't mind sending me over the falls. We get so many questions about the rows all the time. So if you can spread it, spread the love and people see that I'm alive, it will, uh, cut down on all the questions we get all the time. So I would really appreciate that. Thank you. You can just share it onto your own page or if you know any groups that accept lives. Um, and if you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe. I know we have a lots and lots of people that watch our YouTube channel. And all we ask, we, we do all these tutorials for free. And all we ask for is a, a like, a share, or a subscribe. That's it. It just helps us, uh, helps us out being a small business. Okay. So we're going to continue with row two. Now I'm going to only use a single. So this is just a single, which is one piece of mesh. This is a double. I'm just going to use a single. And what you're going to do is this time you're going to go through. The tail is going towards the outside of the board. Okay. The scalloped ones went towards the inside of the board. This one, these eight are going to go towards the outside. So just stick that in there and clip it off as you're going along, okay? And it will make sense. At the beginning, it looks like a hot mess, but like I said, you have to trust the process. And I'll pin these back so you guys can see uh, what I'm doing. So I got my fingers underneath. You can see them there. Grabbing the tail and just pulling it and zipping it up. So the tail is actually underneath the scallop. Yes, thank you all for the love. We love what we do, and we don't really ask for much. We just ask, you know, give us a, the odd share, the odd subscribe. Um, we're waiting to hear about the baby. She's still in the NICU. Um, we're waiting for her blood cultures, which should be in tonight sometime so if the blood cultures are good she'll be coming home tomorrow if they're not so good she may be in there for up to 12 days it really sucks and I have a bit of an infection so I can't even go and see her Now you can do this, this step at the end as well, but I like to, when I'm teaching, I like to show it at the beginning so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Because once you get to row um, four, uh, there is a lot of, there is a lot of mesh going on in here. Uh, 
All right, that is all of them, I think. Let's flip it over. I just kind of flip them to make sure I got every zip tie done, and we're good. So I'm just going to pin these back. Because even though we put the tail going towards the outside, they're going to, the rows, the, these petals are going to kind of flip back on itself. Alrighty. Hello, TikTok. We have some viewers. Yay. So I'm just kind of pinning these out of the way. With the you can use clothes pins, you can use sewing clips, whatever you have handy, just to kind of take it out of the way. Okay, so now you can sort of see still. Alrighty, now we're going to start in the center. So once you got the outside edges done, we're going to start in the center and work our way towards the outside. Okay. Now we're going to make the bud first. Yeah, we will be the cardinal rail. We have a couple cardinal kits coming up very shortly. Okay, so for this very center, I put a zip tie right in the center, down and up, and those two center holes, we are going to make the bud. So I'm going to take two pieces of mesh. We're going to make the umbrella thing like we did all the others. Just lining this up. Okay, bring it down. All right, and I'm gonna put a little elastic around it. Okay, for the bud, zip tie in there on the middle of row five and cut some of these strings I didn't wood burn these obviously and what you're gonna do is we're gonna take the corner one of the corners and just roll it just like that And there we got a bud, right? Hey, Mr. Oats, Granny. No, I'm Nana. <laughs> Nana. So I'm gonna take a zip tie, I'm gonna put it around. So we didn't go all the way down to the bottom. So I'm gonna put a zip tie around where it ended here because we'll cut all that excess mesh off. Okay, so there we go. There's our center. I don't want to cut too much off because we have to put the end in the... Ah, uh, thanks, Damon. Hopefully she will get out of the ICU soon. All right, we're gonna take our bud, take the end, put it right in that zip tie and do it up. So you're gonna put it, do it up where you put that zip tie around to keep the bud closed, you're gonna put that, do that zip tie right over top of that, okay? And that is the center. Now we're gonna go and preload row five. 
just the normal holes. And then we'll build, as we're building this, this center will stay um, straight up. Sorry, I got, I'm going to, I think it's too long. Oh, maybe not. Does that look too long? Let me put it, I'm going to put it in a little bit shorter. Might as well load. Oh, these are out. So I can, yeah, I absolutely can zoom in. Just give me one second. All right, we'll put that one back in the center again. There we go. So we got four on row five and then the center one. Okay, so I'm gonna cut a little more of this excess off. That's better. So the middle, I am doing about five inches. So where I'm gonna be zip tying it to the top, from here to the top is five inches. All right, let's cut that off now. There we go. Oh, that's better. You don't want your, the bud like sticking right at the top. bulk off if I can. There we go. Alrighty, so I'm going to use double petals again. So I've used two pieces of mesh and what we're going to do is we're starting on row five. You're going to take the tail of the petal and go towards the outside. So everything except the very first row, all the tails always go towards the outside, except row two at the beginning. So I'm gonna snip this, and now we're gonna wrap the petal around the bud, just like that, okay? You do, you do have a few clips in your kit and you can use those clips to help hold things together while you're putting it in. So I'm going to go to another, the next one. Okay, wrap it. And you don't want to wrap it tight. You don't want it looking like a cinnamon roll. The next one, so you're doing four doubles. Um, I just want a bigger, fuller uh, rose. There is, so by doubling some of the mesh, I'm not doubling every piece, but some of them. Um, I did say at the beginning, you don't have to double your mesh, but you have enough in your kit if you do want to. It just makes a poofier, larger rose. And we have one more on row five. So again, we'll do a double piece. Oh, I better not hum. Facebook put a strike. 
against us because I hummed one time. I was like, really? Must have been good humming if it actually sounded like a, sound, a song. I gotta fill up my little fridge again. My buble. So again, you're making about a three inch tail. Yeah, 21 inch is really nice to make for, use for a rose. Um, it makes a really nice rose, but it's, oh. Hello, TikTok. Um, it makes almost the same. Oh, it's my, my watch that's talking. <laughs> I was wondering what the heck's talking. Um, what was I saying? Uh, the doubling up the mesh like this gives you almost the same look as the 21 inch mesh does. But look how pretty that center is, right? And you just keep, it's wrap, just wrapping. Now we are on row four. And row four, we can just use single petals. We'll use some single petals. So you don't have to double up. So I doubled up on row two and row five. All right. Now this is where you probably won't be able to see for a bit. But again, the tail is going towards the outside do it the zip tie up and hug the center and keep going around this is where like clips come in nice and handy i got these like sewing clips on amazon they're pretty they're pretty handy these little plastic ones but you do have two of the metal ones in your kit Right. And you're going to keep going. Don't go willy-nilly all over the place. Either stay counterclockwise or clockwise, okay? So, right there. Oh, I've got to cut the zip tie off. They're hard to see those white zip ties. All right. And you're going to do eight of these all the way around row four. Just keep hugging. Okay. Yes, believe it or not, I did do this blindfolded before. And it actually turned out pretty okay. As you can see, I'm just, as I put one in, it just hugs the inner part. You love making the rose? I do too. Lots of people have, think it's hard. It's not really hard at all. As long as you got the center figured out and row two, and the, the second row. Once you have all that figured out, the rest is easy. 
You're literally just putting in the petals and wrapping it around. Key to the center is um, doubling up the mesh for the center and rolling it. And I learned that from Michelle from Monkey's Creations. She did a Halloween rose not too long ago and she, her, she had doubled up the whole rose with black and another color. Anyways, it was stunning. Did you make two heart shapes? Awesome. Now, once I put the greens on and we'll put the cardinal on, this is going to be absolutely stunning. Okay, we're almost done that row. I know you guys can't see, I'm really sorry. <laughs> hey, I just mentioned your name and there she pops. Okay, that is row four done. I'm gonna flip it over and make sure I got them all again. So I just kind of flick it, make sure they're all tight. It means there's a uh, one in them, no, uh, one a zip tie, no, a petal in the zip tie. <laughs> all right, so we, all we have left now is row three. Okay. So we're just doing singles again. And again, the tails are going towards the outside. Again, just pick a spot and then go clockwise as you're putting them in or counterclockwise, it doesn't matter. Just as long as you keep doing it in the correct circle pattern. You can see how full it's getting. Now, the reason I didn't double up on these ones is because the holes are quite close together on these rows. So you don't really need a double petal. We're almost done, we're almost done. That wasn't so hard, was it? Again, make sure you cut your zip tie as you're putting your petals in because you really can't see them. A couple more. And we're done. Three more, it looks like. People go crazy for this, the Christmas rose one. Especially at the nursing homes and stuff, they 
I brought a couple last year to nursing homes and they just loved the Christmas rose. And I think it's because, you know, we, we set the cardinal on there and this year's even better because we got those nice uh, velvet leaves. And then I'm going to show you what I'm going to use for a hanger. Okay, we're on our last one. Okay, last, that's it. Make sure I'm gonna flip it over. Make sure there are none missing. There we go. All right, we can take all these clips off. And then we're going to go around and tuck the ends in. Sometimes you might have to put a little dab of glue. Some of the ends don't like to stay. You know, it kind of, the mesh attaches to itself, but sometimes it likes to pop out. So you want to take the any edges that are coming up and just tuck them back down. Now, if they don't want to stay, you can just get a little bit of hot glue and you can put a dab and then, ouch. This one, this one keeps giving me trouble. So I'm going to put a little hot glue on the back of it and just kind of glue it to the inner here. Same with this one, I'll put a little dab right here. You don't want to put too much. What you thinking, TikTok? It's pretty nice, eh? Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna go around and tuck on, tuck in all your corners. See, isn't it nice and full? Not bad. Okay, we'll finish up putting our leaves on. Look how pretty that is. Okay, so I think they're probably have to do it one more time over. I won't do it on the live, but I'll go around and again, make sure all the, the ends are tucked in. Cause once they're tucked in, they like stick to each other. So the mesh. All right, let's finish putting on these beautiful velvet leaves. So I am gonna put three. Let's see, I'm going to do them in threes. So to do this with the, um, we did it when the board was empty. To do it when it's not empty, take your zip tie, go down, and you're going to go around the outside of the board. Take a piece of your pick and you're going to do it upside down so the back, the bad side is facing up. Stick it in your zip tie 
and pull. Oh, look at that. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, I got glue all over my thing. That's not beautiful. All right, I'm gonna put that a little bit of glue. These are available with the kit. I will definitely buy some more next year for the warehouse. But right now, I they're they're kind of pricey, so I only you can only get them when with the kit. Okay, so I do three there. It's kind of at the top. And then I'm going to go opposite corner and do three here. Hello everybody on TikTok. Thanks for joining me. We are making a Christmas rose. You are late, Sandra. Where have you been? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But these are magnolia leaves. They are very similar to rose leaves. And that's why I I use them for the picture. See, do a couple here. How many do I left? And then we'll flip it over and then I'm going to get my glue gun and kind of glue the stems to the board. Now you don't have to use them all if you don't want. It's totally up to you. Especially if you have, you know, mesh of your own and you may want to use these leaves because you could probably definitely do um, two roses with these this amount of leaves. Oh, look how pretty that is. Wow. All right, I'm going to just do, I have two more. I'm going to just do them down here. Everybody. I love making roses. I love making the flowers, period. Like the points that I made today, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. All right, last one. So I put all, all nine on. I'm a little extra. And you want to make sure the heads of the zip ties are at, at the side of the board. You don't want the zip tie heads um, hitting the door. Then it won't sit flush. So you just grab them and kind of turn them. 
All right, I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna put some glue. That's the nice thing about the boards. You can do glue, run a bead of glue right over top. And that way it's zip tied and glued. Okay, I think I'm done. Yep. All right, let's take these off. And we are gonna put our cardinal on, and then I'm gonna show you a really cute hanger I'm gonna to use to, on this. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Okay, let me clean up for a second here. What do you guys, what do you think, TikTok? Isn't it pretty? Glue that. This one just does not want to cooperate. Nothing a little bit of glue won't fix, though. Okay. I don't know how I got glue on my leaves. Thank you everybody okay so my hanger that I'm gonna do is I got more pony beads in now I love pony beads um, you can make your own um, your own picks and everything with pony beads the only thing is they are hard to find in one solid color okay meaning um, usually when you get the pony beads, there's a mix of color. I found a wholesaler that offers, um, all one solid color. Let me explain. I'm trying to get the bag. Explain what I'm talking about. So the pony beads. You have them in every color and you can get the 16 gauge wire I bought for the, uh, the pony beads and we're going to make a silver hanger for our rose. Okay, so I'm still not going to glue this, this is the very last this over and I left a space right here and this is where I'm going to put my beaded hanger. I might have to put a few more on. So you can mix and match all kinds of colors. So like the red point set of today would have been beautiful with the hanger done in the gold pony beads. This one, I'm just doing silver. And you can make it as long or as short as you want. You want to make it so that you can actually see it. It's just a nice little added touch. And you can do this for any wreath, any rail. Um, I have shown in the VIP group how to make picks out of these. They're actually a lot of fun. But like I said, the problem is when you go to like Hobby Lobby and Michaels and stuff, it's always a mixed variety pack. You don't get one solid color. Okay, so I'm going to put just a dab of glue right there and right there, just so the beads don't come off while I'm putting them on. Let me put that glide for a 
first. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
That's it. That's all I got for you guys. That's all I got for you. It's pretty because it looks like it's got literally got snow on it. So, all right. Thank you so much for joining me tonight and all your well wishes for Eliana. I will keep you guys posted. Um, we're, like I said, we're waiting for her blood cultures to come back to see what kind of infection they're dealing with. Um, she is responding very well to the antibiotics. So hopefully if there's really nothing in her culture, she'll be able to go home tomorrow. All right. I cannot wait to see what you guys make on yours. Yeah, I'm going to have to take some of these leaves off. <laughs> um, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. So make sure you share it. Uh, if you're doing one on Unique Wreath Creators, our sister group where everybody shares their talents, their many, many talents. And if you want to be um, featured on the Unique in the Creek page, um, that's where the media team pulls uh, people's pictures. We're going to be starting that again and featuring them on the main page. Alrighty. So thanks for watching and um, we'll talk to you soon. I'll be live again. I'm trying to catch up um, with all the kits um, before the baby comes home. So I'm trying to get everything done. But there we go. Thanks everybody.